every good thing in your life God is the door it is the acknowledgement every good thing in your life God is the door it is appreciating him for what he has done acknowledging he has done and appreciating for what he has done in second Thessalonians chapter 1 verses 3 the Bible says we are bound to thank God always for you. We are bound. The word bound means you are under covenant obligation to appreciate God for what he has done. You are under Covenant obligation to thank God for what he has done. The word bound also means we are debtors to God. We are debtors to God. We owe God thanksgiving for what he has done done in our lives. God's goodness in your life makes you a debtor to God. God's faithfulness in your life makes you a debtor to God. The gift and the breath of life that God has given to you makes you a data to God. So the acts of God in your life, the miracles of God in your life, the doings of God in your life makes you a data to God. We all owe God thanksgiving for what he has done in your life. If you don't appreciate God for what he has done, it means you have not paid your debt and God is not obligated to do more in your life. We are bound. We are under covenant obligation. We are debtors. We owe God thanksgiving for all he has done in your life. So if you don't pay your debt, you don't go and tell God do more. If you don't pay your debt in a bank, you don't go to the bank and tell them, give me more money. No, until you pay what you owe them, until you pay that which you owe God, God is not under any obligation to do more in your life. What are the benefits of thanksgiving? Number one, thanksgiving and praise preserves your blessings. It preserves your blessings. Thanksgiving and praise preserves your blessings. In Malachi chapter 2, Malachi Mbili, Verses 1 to 6. Moja hadi sita. Malachi. Kitabu cha Malachi. Now, O ye priests. Sasa konyo nyi makohani. And when you see the word priests. Unapona neno kohani. In the New Testament. Katika agano jipia. Every jipia, child of God. Kila mwana wake mungu. Is a priest. Ni kohani. And is a king. Na ye ni mfalme. So when you see God giving instructions to priests in the Old Testament, the same instructions applies to the priests of the New Testament. Revelation chapter 5, verses 10, for better understanding. 
Revelation chapter 5. Ufunuo tano. Verses number 10. Mustari wa kumi. And has made us. Ametufanya sisi. Who has made us? Jesus. Yesu. Has made us. Ametufanya. Onto our God. Kwa mungu wetu. Kings. Wafalme. And priests. Na mako hani. And we shall reign. Tutapata kumaidiki. On the earth. Hapa nchini. Jesus Yesu has made us sisi, kings wafalme, and priests na hani, and we shall reign on the earth. Everyone kila moja, that has accepted Jesus Yesu, as his Lord and Savior, kama bwana na mokozi, Lord and Savior, mokozi, is a king. Ni mfalme, she is a king ni mfalme and yeye, they are priests. Na hawa ni mako hani. So every child of God, Kila you are mungu, a king ni mfalme, and you are a priest. Na wewe ni so the commandment in Malachi, Amri Malachi chapter 2 mili, is for priests ni makohani, and is also for kings. Na vile vile ni Revelation chapter 1 ufunuo moja, verse 6 Sita. And has made us na sisi, kings wafalme, and priests na hani, unto God kwa mungu, and his father. Na baba yake, to him be glory kwa ke utukufu, and dominion forever and ever. Na uku, milele na milele. So every child of God, Kila mwana wake mungu, Jesus has made you Yesu a king mfalme, and a priest. Na kohani, and you are to reign on utawale, the earth. Hapa but there are things Kuna wafalme, priests wakohani, and kings na wafalme, need to do ya kupasa kufanya, for them to reign ili wapata on the earth. Hapo kings mfalme, and priests na makohani, don't reign automatically. Hatawali moja kwa moja. There are things Kuna vitu, that priests makohani, and kings na wafalme, need to do ya wafanya, in order to reign ili watawale, on the earth. Hapo in one of the things mambo, that the priests and the kings mfalme, need to do in afanye, order to reign on the earth is duniani. to give God glory for what he has done in your life. Kwa kile Malachi mwango. chapter 2 again. Malachi mbili tena. Malachi 2. Malachi mbili. Verses 1. Moja. And now ye priests, this commandment amri is for you. Ni he didn't say Hakusema. this suggestion Idokezo. is for you. Ni he said this commandment is for you. Ni if you will not hear, Kama mtaskia, if you will not lay to heart, Kama moyoni, to give glory to unto my name, jina langu, says the Lord of hosts, I will, even, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse laani, your blessings. Zenu, yea, dio, I have cursed them already, ba, te, because laani, you do not lay to heart. So thanksgiving is not a suggestion. Siyo Thanksgiving Shukurani is a commandment. Ni amri. Is not a suggestion. Iyo siyo dokezo. If it was a suggestion, Kama ni dokezo, there will be no curse. Kwa kwa but it is a commandment. Sasa ni amri. So when you break this commandment of amri. thanksgiving ya and praise, na sifa. you come under a curse. chini ya laana. The curse comes upon you. Lana inakujia wewe. That means it will block Itapata kufungia. blessings from coming to your life. Baraka kuja maishani the curse on you Lana kwako. will block Itafungia. more blessings Baraka zaidi. from coming to your life. Zije maishani the mwako. curse Lana. on your blessings Kwa baraka zako. will eat your blessings Itakula baraka and zako. reduce them to zero. Ipunguze zikawe sufuri. The curse I will cast, the Bible says, number one, kwanza, I will even send a curse upon you. Kwenu. That is number one. Yo ya what will be the purpose of the curse? Lana it nini. will block. Itapata kufungia. More blessings will not flow into your life. Zaidi More acts of God will mungu. not flow into your life. The mwako. goodness of God will mungu. not flow into your life. And number two, ya pili, I will curse your blessings. Zenu. 
plural. Kwa wingi. I, will, I will curse your blessings. Da, dalani baraka zenyu. Your money, Pesa zako, your fine business, yako, your career, yako, your vehicles, gari yako, your kitchen, ile mahali pa your kesi, utensils ile vyombo vyako, will come under a curse. Chini that means ya lana. the curse will eat what you have. Lana itakula kile unacho. As simple Uraisi, as thanksgiving is, if you hivyo, don't do it, kama uitendi, it attracts a curse. Lana. I've seen people got healed. Watu and before I prayed for them, God told me, Kabla wambia, Mungu ask them, wambia, ni, waulize, if I heal them, kama nda waponya, will they return to give me the glory? And they will say kuku, yes. Wanasema ndio. So I'll pray. Tungaji they will receive their healing. But they will not return. Hawata rudi tena. After some times, Bada wakati they mwingine. lose the healing. Wanapoteza uponyo. People think Watu they can play games with God. Wazaleta michezo na mungu. Once God asks you a question Mungu and you answer na unajibu, and you don't do it, na uitendi, you will lose that miracle. Huo you will lose that blessing. Hiyo baraka. I will curse your blessing. People play religion. Watu udini. People think they can use God. People Mungu. think they can play games with God. Anything God gives you, you can lose it. Kile Mungu the way to preserve it Jia is to celebrate God. The way to preserve it Jia is to appreciate God. The way to preserve it Jia is to give God glory. Mungu tukufu. So anything Lolote you lile. don't appreciate God for, a curse mungu. will come on it. Lana and yake. when a curse comes on it, it will yake. reduce it to zero. Iwe People play religion suffer. Udini if you will not lay to heart Kama utaeka moyoni. and give glory, he if you will not lay to heart, Kama if you moyoni, will not lay to heart, to give moyoni, glory to my name, says the na, Lord of hosts, I will na majesu, I, a, mimi, not the devil. The worst thing mbaya, is when God is the one fighting you. Mungu anakupiga vita, anapigana na wewe. When the devil is fighting you, you can run nawe. to God. Mungu. When a human being is fighting you, you can nawe. run to God. But mungu. when God is fighting you, mungu where will you go to? Utaenda wapi? When the devil is fighting you, Shetana you can say in the name of Jesus, I like bind you, devil. Come Shetana. out. Toka. When it is a man that is fighting you, you can vita. use Isaiah 54, 15. They shall surely gather together, but not by me. me. Whosoever shall gather against me, me, I curse you, Na fall down for my sake. But when is this the Lord? Which prayer will you pray? God, I bind you. In the name of who? <laughs> In the name of who? It is dangerous to be on the opposing camp with God. It is dangerous when your opponent is God. When your opposer is God. When the one fighting you is God. It is, most, it is very dangerous. God wants his glory. Mungu utukufu wake. If you don't give him, Kama mpati, he will fight you. Ata kupiga vita. Thanks in gratitude Kukosa makes God to be your opponent. Inafanya mungu ni wako. God becomes what? Mungu your nini? opponent. Mpinzani wako. When 
God is your opponent. Mungu no matter what you pray. No matter your fasting. It has no effect. I me will send a curse upon you. I Mimi. I Mimi. I Mimi will send a curse upon you. your blessings. I Mimi. And God say, when well, I want to do anything, who will say you can't do it? I, Mimi, the most dangerous thing is to hutari. be Nikua. on the opposing side of God. The, the most mungu. dangerous thing is God to be your opponent. Mungu kuwa wako. The most dangerous thing is God to fight you. Mungu kupigana na wewe. If man fights you, you learn wewe. to go. Mungu. If the devil comes against you, you can nawe. bind him with the backing of God. Na kungu but na if mungu. it is God fighting you, where will bicha? you go? Utaenda wapi? Are you seeing how important thanksgiving is? That is why people that get miracles, get healings, and don't appreciate God, will suffer the more. You can't use God. Why does God heal? To receive the glory. Why does God deliver to receive the glory? Why does God protect to nalinda. receive the glory? Verse 3. Behold, Tizama. I will corrupt your seed. Ufisadi. I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces. Uso wako. Shame. Anasema. Lack of thanksgiving is followed by shame. Ingratitude. Attract shame. Shame. Aibu. I will corrupt your seed, spread dung upon your faces. Even the dung of your solemn fists. And one shall take you away with it. And you shall know Hautajua. that I have sent this commandment unto you. That my covenant might be with Levi. So this is a covenant thing. This is a commandment. This is a covenant. Once you break it, it attracts a curse. Verse 5. My covenant was with him. Of life and peace. So thanksgiving and praise is designed to give you life. And it is designed to give you peace. The word peace comes from the Hebrew word shalom. And it means wholeness. Nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is wanting. Thanksgiving is to take you to the realm of living and wholeness. As you're thinking, it keeps doing more. As you're thinking, it keeps doing more. As you're thinking, it keeps doing more. It takes you to the place of wholeness. Nothing is missing. Nothing is wanting. Nothing is lacking. As you think, that which is missing is supplies. As you think, that which is lacking, it does it. As you think, that which you do have, it brings it to your life. Thanksgiving and praise is designed to make you to take you to the realm of living and having wholeness. It is designed to give them to give him life and peace. And I gave 
turned to him for the fear will with he feared me. And was afraid before my name. You should be afraid not to thank God. It's dangerous. Not to thank God. You should fear. Ogopa. Taking God's glory is very dangerous. Not appreciating God is the mungu. same as taking God's glory. I did it. My paper, my connection, my smartness, my certificate, certificate see what I've achieved. No fear of God. When you fear him, you will not take his glory. It's like you're going to take meat from the mouth of a lion. Glory is God's food. Praise is God's food. Thanksgiving is God's food. When you take it to yourself, you have no fear. You don't fear him. I will never say I healed anybody. Because I have never healed anybody. And I will never heal anybody. And I will never heal anybody. And I will never heal anybody. And I don't have the ability to heal anybody. Jesus says, yes, the sema. Father in me, Baba ndani mwangu, he doeth the works. Anatenda kazi. It is God that doeth the works Ni mungu here. We apa. pray Tunaoa. that God does it. Mungu anatenda. Hello? Hello? I will never say, Tungaji atasema. my member, mshirika wangu, my member, Mshirika wangu. I will never say my church. Atasema I own langu. no church. Hana kanisa. I pastor the church of Jesus. Anachunga kanisa lake Yesu. I pastor the sheep of Jesus. Anachunga kondoa wake Yesu. I didn't die for anybody. Aku kufia mtu yoyote. Who died for us? Nana Jesus. Tuku. Yesu. You are not my sheep. Wesi you are mtu the gaji. sheep of Jesus. Wendi Jesus wa Yesu. said, my sheep here my voice. Kondo so when me and Jesus, oh, yeah, we, co we compete for sheep, I'll be in trouble. He said I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. It is his church. I pastor his church. I don't own the church. I I can't afford to own a church. Owning a church means I die. I go through what Jesus went through. And then I resurrect. It is his church. It is his sheep. I pastor his church. I pastor his sheep. They are his sheep. It is his church. The glory belongs to him. Fear God. Learn to say, see what he did. See what God did. Oh, see what God has done. See God, see how God has delivered. See how God has healed. Uh, see how God has blessed me. This is God. John 16. I must decrease. But he must do what? Increase. I must decrease. When, when you, it is I, I, mimi, mimi. that is a Luciferian doctrine. I, mimi, I, I, mimi. I. Mimi. That is what the devil. Ile that hepilisi. is what turned Lucifer Ine into the devil. I. Mimi. I. Mimi. When you increase and it decreases, Anapunguka. that is a Luciferian doctrine. Ile ni that is Lucifer a devilish doctrine. Ile basi ni it will land you in the bush. I must decrease. He must increase. Who did it? Jehovah. Jehovah. Who gave you this thing? Jehovah. Jehovah. How did you get it? Jehovah. Jehovah. Some people they say, ah, ah, 
tell me what you did. Jehovah. 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 Don't try to be smart. No. Uh -uh. Your smartness can give you what God can give you. Jehovah. Jehovah. How did you do it? Ulifanya Jehovah aje. did it. Jehovah litenda. Anything Lolote you lile. don't appreciate God for, you will mungu. lose it. Utaipoteza. Fear God. Ogopa mungu. How can you say, Uneza I will zema. return to give God glory, and you don't? Na urudi. You don't fear God. Ogopi mungu. That which he gave you, Alicho you kupati. lose it. Unaipoteza. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yo yo Learn to katika. thank God. Fear God. Ogopa mungu. Fear to say I. Fear. Ogopa. Fear. Ogopa. Be afraid Ogopa to sana. say I. I. Every time we pray for people and they are healed wameponywa, and they are delivered, there, pale, I tell them, anawambia, give God glory. Patia mungu Jesus, tukupu, ambia Yesu, thank you asanti, for healing me. Umenipoja, Heavenly Father, babu abinguni, thank you asanti, for setting me free. Umenueka After mungu, I'm through, I will go and say, Baba, thank you for all the people you healed today. Watu, watu thank you for leo. all the people you delivered today. Thank leo. you for all the people you changed their lives. You are the yao. one who did it Uli in Jesus' name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Next time, he will do it. Next time, he will do it. It is designed to take you to the realm of life and peace. Life and what? Prayer has its part. But if you don't thank him Kama and praise him, na next time you pray, prayer naomba. will have no effect. Look at Psalms 50. Zaburi, Psalms 50. Zaburi hamsini. So thanksgiving, Shuku, people think when we kiria. say thanksgiving and praise, they think, they think it's a waste of time. Wakati, but they will discover that next time their life will be so hard because sana. they didn't give God glory for what tukufu. he did previously. Psalm 50. Zaburi hamsini. I. Mimi. To be delivered. I. Kombolewa mimi. You know, I. Najua mimi. You know, when I preach, I. Ninapo ubiri mimi. Things just happen. I. Mambo mimi. I. Mimi. And God say, okay. Mungu ansema sawa. Heal. Ponya. Let's see how far you heal. Tuwane unaponyesha Let's ubali gani. Let's see who you heal. Tuwane unaponyesha nani. I. Mimi. Even Jesus Ata never yesu. said I. He said, My Father Baba yangu, in me nani muangu, he do it the works. Kazi. Psalms 50 verses 22. Now consider ye. Wewe. Consider this. Ye that forget God. Lest I tear in pieces and there be none to deliver. Consider this. You that forget God. You that do what? Forget God. Lest I become your opponent. When I am an opponent, I will tear you to pieces. My glory will I not give to another. When you take God's glory, you become an opponent of God. God does not joke with his glory. When you wake, take it, you become the opponent of God. I will tear you to pieces. What does it mean? You cannot hold anything together again. Nothing you do again will work. I will tear you to pieces. Anything you try to work out, it doesn't work. Anything you try to do, it scatters. 
Anything you try to do, scatters. Anything you try to do, it doesn't work. Why? God is your opponent. It is dangerous when God is your opponent. Isaiah Forty-three. So when we say thank God, Shukuru it's not a joke. It's a serious matter. So Isaiah 42. Uh, Isaiah 42 verses 8. I am the Lord. In case you don't know who I am. Kama ujui mimi ni nani. I am the Lord. Mimi ni that is my name. Ndilo jina langu. You don't know I'm in church. How you niko usukani? You don't know I'm in church. I'm in church. Mimi niko usukani. Ni usukani. I am the law. Mimi ni I am in charge. Niko usukani. I am in charge. Niko usukani. You should know I'm in charge. Nakupasa ujue niko usukani. You should know I am omnipotent. Ujua basi mimi na uweza wote. You should know I am om om omnipresent. Niko mahali pote. You should know I am all powerful. Nina nguvu zote. I am the Lord. Mimi ni that is my name. Hilo ndio jina my langu. glory Utukufu wangu. will I not give to another. Neither my praise Ama sifa zangu. to graven images. Kwa vyombo vya my glory Utukufu I will wangu. not give to another. Sita when mwingine. you take my glory, wangu. I become your opponent. Inakuwa mpinzani wako. Let's see what else you will achieve. Basi nini Let's ingine. see what else you will get. Tuone utapata nini ingine. Daniel chapter 4, Daniel when Nebuchadnezzar came out of the bush after seven years, he said, I, Mimi, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, I have now known Sasa nimejua, that these things belong to God haya mambo ni yake and mungu. he gives it to whomsoever he will. And ataka. now I, Mimi, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, having learned in the bush, I give glory to God. I exalt the mungu. most high God. Mungu the glory belongs to God. Utukufu ni wake mungu. Give it to God. Mungu. Never beat your chest. Usipige kifua. Never Usiwai. beat your chest. Upige kifua Never yako. say my power. Nguvu zangu. Never say my might. Uweza wangu. Say, see what God that did. Ona kile mungu oh, see what God has done. Ona kile see mungu how ametenda. God has blessed us. Ona vile mungu see ametubariki. how God is healing. Ona mungu see how God is delivering. Vile see the power of God. Ona nguvu zake mungu. As long as you don't take that which belongs to God, that which he has given you, it will preserve and he will give you more. So you, when we, we begin to thank God and to praise God, don't feel good. Don't feel good. How can I now be praising? How can I be thanking God? Me a manager. How can I be dancing? Only normal people can be managers. If you go manager, to the bush, will you be a manager? Number two. What are the benefits of thanksgiving? We'll look maybe at three. Because of time, thanksgiving and praise brings completion. It brings completion. Psalms 57, verses 2. Zaburi Hamsini na Saba, Mbili. I will cry or pray unto God most high. Unto God kwa mungu, that performeth all things. Mambo yote. When you pray, omba, God begins to perform. Mungu kutenda kazi. When you pray, omba, God begins to perform. Mungu kutenda kazi. 
God's blessings are in steps, are in stages, and they are in dimensions. God's blessings are in steps, are in stages, and they are different dimensions. When you pray, God begins to perform. Mungu ananza kutenda kazi. Psalms 138. Zaburi 138. Psalms 138. Zaburi 138. Verses 1 and 2. In verses 8. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple. And praise thy name for thy loving kindness. And for thy truth. And for thou hast magnified the word. Above all thy name. Verses 8. The Lord will perfect. That which concerned me. When will he perfect? When I praise with my whole heart. When I pray, it begins to perform. But when I praise, he perfects that which concerned me. He completes that which he began to perform. God's blessings are in steps, are in stages, and in dimensions. Some people see appetizer and they have arrived. Just appetizer. And they have arrived. But the blessings of God are in steps, are in stages, are in dimensions. When you thank God at that step, you move to the next step. When you pray, it begins to perform. But it does not complete. It does not perfect until you thank him. When you thank God for the level where you are, you change level to the next level. Luke 17. Verses number 12. And he entered into a certain village. And there met him ten men that were lepers. Which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices. That is prayer. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. That is prayer. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourself unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. As they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. God. He fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering and said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? They are not found that return to give glory to God. Except this stranger. You see why people lose healing? They didn't return. They didn't return. They played games. They didn't return. They are not found a return to give glory except the stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. There are things I learned from the scripture. When Jesus said, go show yourself to the priests. Number one, 
he knew as they went alijua walipoenda they will be cleansed watapata kutakasika he knew alijua as they went wanapoenda there will be they will be cleansed watapata kutakasika number 2 ya pili jesus yesu did not leave the place hakutoka mahala pale where he told them go alipoambia endeni why mbona he expected them to return alitarajia warudi after they see the cleansing baada kuona kutakasika wamkute pale and appreciate god wapate kudhamini mungu he didn't leave the place hakutoka pale he remained in the place alisalia pale he remained in the place alisalia pale waiting Akikojea. for them to return and give him glory Wampatia he did utukufu. not leave the place akuondoka mahala pale he said okay let's see wacha this. wacha tuone let's see these guys how many are going to return tuone hawa jamaa wangapi wanarudi to give god glory Wampatia and he waited akakojea he knew alijua they had gone Waliyanda. but he knew alijua. on the way they will be cleansed ndiari watatakasika so he waited Alikojea. to see Aone. those that have felt changes how many are going to return and to say thank you Waseme so he waited Anagojea. and as he waited Alikojea. one came he said ah, ah you're the only one who came okay Sawa. you that came now change level change what level change level change level you are cleansed but go to the level where you are made whole jesus is always waiting yesu daima anasubiri upate kurudi jesus is always yesu daima waiting anagojea. for you to return kwako urudi always daima the lady that was ill of bronchitis jesus waited yesu for her to return apate kurudi he waited for he knew she was supposed to be on sunday to return glory seven days she kept the healing when she didn't come she lost the healing he's waiting anagojea always waiting daima anagojea let's see now you got it ulipata okay i'm waiting anagojea I'm waiting Nagojea. for you to come Urudi. and give glory. When you give God glory Mungu for tukufu. where you are, Ulipo. you change level. Many never change level because kiwango. they never return. They play religion. They play games with God. Pastor, why is my life not changing? You are a joker. You play games. Some people, the reason their life will never change, they play games. Just appetizer. And they arrive. Appetizer. Just appetizer. You have not seen the main course. Appetizer. You become full of yourself. I believe when this one said, um, ah, the itching is gone. We are no longer itching. Leprosy is gone. Let's go and say thank you. The nice, ah, 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 ah. wait. When we see the finger grow, vidole when mimea. we see the toe grow, when mimea. the crooked leg becomes straight, then we can go. Sasa enda. You will wait forever. Utagojia umilele. That is how many Wengi are waiting. Wanagoja. You will wait forever. Utagojia umilele. The blessings of God are mungu. in steps. Ziko katika hatua. They are in stages. Ziko and they are in dimensions. Ziko katika hali tofauti. When you see Unapoona, a step that God has wrought, Mungu ameenda. Go on your knees. Enda magotini. Say thank you. Sema asanti. Go in front Enda pale of mbele. the congregation. Yakusanyiko. Tell him see what God did for me. Ona kile Mungu alinitendea. See what God did for me. Ona kile Mungu alinitendea. Shukurani. Is done number 1. Inafanywa mwanzo. In private ile kwa number siri two, ya pili. In public. Kwa in front of the congregation. Mbele ya kusanyiko. 
and anyone you meet that he says, what happened? Jehovah did it. Jehovah did it. Jehovah did it. How did you get it? Jehovah did it. Jehovah did it. You don't boast of your papers. A madman with papers cannot be a director. Blessed Blessings of God are in steps, are in stages, are in dimensions. Father, I thank you Baba Asante. for this food. Kula. There are those who don't have. Kuna wale awana. You've given me Ugali and Skuma. I thank you. Na I thank Asan you. Asante. Some people will say, ah, Ugali, God, Ugali, January to December, Skuma, Ugali to December, Mimi Sungura. Mimi Sungura, Mimi. And God said, don't worry. When you become sungura, sungura, what you eat, unachokula. sungura will have joy to sungura, eat it. Furaya that is how the children of Israel behave in manna. Wa, is it manna? Mana, 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 mana. mana. Every day, every day, every kila, day, every day. Kila, kila God said, you will eat it for 40 years. Utakula miaka rubaine. God, you mean you are God? You can't even supply chicken. And God said, I will supply chicken. And God supplied quails. And those who ate it, without thanking God, the quail entered their mouth, went to the throat, could not go to the stomach. They ate it. It stuck between the throat. It will not go down. It will not come out. There was one stupid fellow who said, God, whether you like it or not, I will eat this chicken. He ate it. But never went to the toilet. He ate it. But never went to the toilet. Only a fool will speak like that. You see, people that mocked God died in mysterious ways. Died in mysterious ways. Died. One girl, uh, I had the mother told her, God, go with you. As she was traveling, and the girl said, there is no place for God in this, in this vehicle, except in the booth. And God went to the booth. And there was a crash. All the people in the car died. There were eggs in the booth. Eggs did not even one break. Mock God. See Pepe you've never seen. Utaona pilipili ya The blessings of God are in steps, are in stages, are in dimensions. Thank God for where you are. He will take you to another level. Stop competition. God, God. I want flat screen. Flat screen. Before the end of the year. Flat screen. If you don't give me flat screen, God, you are not God. Where's your mungu? Do you know how many millions of people with flat screens that died from COVID-19 COVID and you are, you are alive? You need to thank God for what you have. Every next miracle is in what you have. Every next miracle is in what you have. Did you catch that one? Every next miracle is in what you do what? Thank God for what you have. It will lead you to the next miracle. That is where people fail. Every next miracle is in what you have.
Thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for the breath of life. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for paying school fees for my children. As you thank God for what you have, that which you don't have, God will give it to you. The next miracle is in what you have. The one leper came to say, I have been cleansed. I thank you for cleansing me. And Jesus gave him the next miracle. If you forget what he has done, there will be no next miracle. The next miracle is in what you have. God, I thank you. I'm alive. I'm healthy. Thank you. I am a candidate to be married. Or to marry. I thank you, I'm alive. I thank you, I'm healthy. But when you go before God, you say, God, even you, you know, I am beautiful. Where are men? And God will say, that is why they don't see your beauty. Have you ever appreciated me for what you have? You boast you are beautiful. Who gave you the beauty? Have you appreciated me for what you have? That is why the next one will not come. Because you have not appreciated me for what you have. Thank God for what you have. The next miracle is in what you have. The next miracle is in what you have. The next miracle is in what you have. Next what you have. Number three, I think we stop here because of time. Thanksgiving and praise provokes God to do new things in your life. God will never do anything new in your life until you appreciate it for what he has done previously. Isaiah 42 verse 8. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory will I not give to another. Neither my praise to graven images. Behold the former things that come to pass. New things do I declare. Before they spring forth I tell you of them. Verses 9. Has two category of things. Number one. The former things. That have already past. The things that God has already done. The miracles he has already done. Number two. New things do I declare. The things that God intends to do. God mentions of the things he has done. And God mentions of the things he intends to do. What are you supposed to do for the things he has already done? Verses 10. Sing unto the Lord a new song. And his praise from the end of the earth. You that go down to the sea. All that is therein. The Isos. The inhabitants thereof. Verses 12. Let them give glory unto the Lord. And declare his praise in the islands. After you have done that, you have appreciated God for the former things he has done. Verses 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man to do what? To do the new things. Between the old things and the new things is thanksgiving and praise. The bridge between the old things and the new things is thanksgiving and praise. 
the bridge between the former things and the new things is thanksgiving and praise. When you thank him and you praise him for what he did previously, you are able to walk into the new things that God is doing in your life. The bridge between the old things and the new things is thanksgiving and praise. Lastly for today, Exodus, no, Psalms 50, because of time, Psalms 50. Psalms 50, verses 23. Psalms 15, 23. O so offered praise glorifies me and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will I show him the salvation of God. Let me read you the amplified version. Verses 23. He who brings an offering of praise and thanksgiving honors and glorifies me. And he who orders his way aright, who prepares the way that I may show him, to him I will demonstrate the salvation of God. God is saying, when you offer God praise, you glorify God and you honor him and by doing that you prepare the way for God to do more you prepare the way for God to show you more blessings for God to demonstrate more blessings into your life lastly which is very important because this is a week of wonders. Thanksgiving and praise produces wonders. Produces wonders. Exodus 15, verses number 11. Exodus 15, 11. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, doing wonders? God is fearful in praise. What does he do in praise? He does wonders. Wonders. When your mouth is filled with praise, your life will be surrounded with wonders. When your mouth is filled with praise, your life will be surrounded with wonders. The book of Joel chapter 2. Joel Joel, chapter 2, Billy. verses number 21. Fear not, O land. Be glad. Rejoice. What will happen? For the Lord will do great things. Rejoice in the Lord. Every time you thank God, you praise Him. You set the pace for the manifestation of great things in your life. And lastly for today, Psalms 71. Psalm 71. Are you there? Psalm 71, verse 6. By thee have I been holding from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. 
I am as a wonder unto many, but thou art my strong refuge. You are the you are the backbone of the wonders. You are the backbone of the great happenings in my life. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. He says, I praised you continually. My life has become a wonder. And to continue to live a wonderful life, my mouth shall be filled with thy praise. It does it. You thank it. You praise it. It does it. Actions are weighed. Actions are what? Weighed. God looks at your heart. And then God looks at your actions. Are they in line? Or when we are praising God, are you saying in your heart, Pastor is just troubling us? Should just let us go home. God is looking at your heart. Or you dance, and you dance psychedelically. And in your heart, you are saying, you know, I'm a manager. You know I'm a lecturer. You know I'm a professor. You know I'm a professor. Mimi basi nimehitimu professor. No, professor should not be dancing like this. Professor wa dance you know, dance namna hii. You know, unajua you just dance like this. Unajua you know. tu pole 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 pole. I'm a professor. Mini professor. God looks at your heart. Mungu anaangalia moyo wako. And he looks at your actions. Anaangalia matendo yako. And there are many people that play games. Watu wanaleta michezo. And that is why they never see God. Waone Mungu. May you see God in the name of Jesus Christ. May you see God in your life in the name of Jesus Christ.